Hey, yo, what's going on? So listen, lately there's been a whole lot of racial division going on. More than I've ever seen in my life. And this is largely due to social media because now anybody with a voice can just come on here and say anything. And as long as it's entertaining, people will watch. And it doesn't matter if it's productive or if it's harmful. Case in point, Charleston White. Charleston White, he comes on here and says the wildest things. The wildest things, right? And he gets people, he shocks people, shock value, right? But then he'll come and, 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 and say something else that will get people to think, right? So now, let me tell you something. Charleston White, from out of his words, comes from pimping. And what does pimps do? Pimps know how to look at a person and flesh out their weaknesses. They know how to talk and they know how to manipulate these weaknesses. That's their game. That's the game, right? You know? So they don't they don't give a fuck what they're saying to the person. They don't give a fuck what they're doing to the person as long as they can control the person to do whatever is going to whatever they want to do to fill up their pockets. Now, Charleston White. I'm going to just I'm going to just play this video, bro, cuz it's just clear clear as day that this man don't give a fuck about the people. And I could see if he really stood on what he said, but this right here shows that this man does not believe what he says. He just wants to say whatever that's going to get the views. Done hip up. Man, y'all keep spending y'all money at these Chinese stores. Now, I just want to remind y'all, nigga, we got some Chinese people that's been in our hood for a long motherfucking time. Nigga, the China, we've been fucking with the Chinese since the 80s, nigga. Now, I know some Chinese stoves in the hood, nigga. They get niggas credit. Them folks been going in there getting credit from them people. And they come back and they been paying. I know some Chinese stoves that when you go to them and stop six, nigga, every body done died and stop six. Them people got... The obituaries on the walls. Now, just because some more niggas having some problem with the Chinese people, they know that ain't our problem. We ain't going to join in and just start boycotting Chinese stove when nigga these Chinese people around here ain't done nothing to a motherfucking thing. Us. They ain't mistreating us. Now, they don't let our kids in our stove because our kids go come in there stealing, being disrespectful. Most Chinese people don't even talk when you go in their stove. But we going up being disrespectful. Man, you very seldom find a Chinese person. We talk to them any kind of way. Man, them people been real kind to us. And they don't owe us nothing. Chinese people don't owe us nothing. Have you been kind to your cousins? See, y'all want the Chinese people to be kind to black people. But you ain't kind to black people. You ain't kind to your cousins. Have y'all never been inside a storm in Mondays? Have y'all been inside any black businesses? Do y'all... Now look, if you haven't watched any of his interviews, if you watch any of his interviews, you will know that that is complete opposite from what he's preaching right now. So Charleston White, please explain to me. Please explain to me. How the... Which one is it, Charleston White? Which one is it? How can you go from, because in this video right here, you said that Asian people, Chinese people don't bother nobody. You know, we mind our business. We ain't never do nothing to nobody. Well, we, we give credit. We give all this good stuff. What happened? What happened, Charleston White? How did that change? Let me tell you how it changed. Well, hold on. Before I tell you that, let's watch this video. Let's watch this video, how he completely changes his narrative. Boom. Fuck the strand eye. Chinese Kim Jong Park. Kim Jong nigga. We supposed to be robbing them motherfuckers. We supposed to be doing to them Chinese just what the white boy is doing to them right now. We ain't supposed to be friends with the Chinese. You see how they treat us when we come into the Chinese establishment. Charleston White. You old motherfucking one eye manipulating motherfucker. See, we on to you, Charleston White. We on to you. We are on to you. And I hope that this video opens a lot of other eyes because I ain't going to lie. You could talk a good one, but you just all talk. You don't really stand on the shit you say, Charleston White. You don't. I don't believe anything that come out your, white, out your mouth, Charleston White. I don't believe none of it. And none of y'all should. 
None of y'all should, because case in point, look at this. How does he change from one to the other? How does he flip flop from one to the other? What happened within a couple months that made you change your whole narrative? What happened? Let me tell you what happened. That shit wasn't getting you views. You talking peace, that wasn't getting you views. You know what I'm saying? You degrading your own people. You called out your own people. And now all of a sudden, it's the whole opposite. So let me tell you this. This motherfucker, Charleston White, don't give a fuck about nothing but his pockets. So he's going to say anything to get y'all to watch. So if he's going to spew hate and y'all watching, he's going to keep on giving that to y'all. So I want y'all to understand fully before you take in his rhetoric or anybody else's. Please, 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 please. Open your minds and think. But It's important. Because if not, you're going to let a one-eyed motherfucking fool pimp you into the fire.